Hey everyone, I'm very warm. Welcome to all of you. So today I'm back with the another interview question. So from the last few days, I was not uploading uh, any video just because of my some personal issues. So everything is fine. Now, uh, every day I'll upload a new video. All right. So let's jump into the question. So here we have a question like we have to find the third highest salary without using analytical function. So guys, you all know what is analytical function. Okay, so in the analytical function, we have row number like rank or dense rank. Okay, so for example, if we want to find the third highest salary with the use of analytical function, for example, uh, we have employee salary. Okay, and we'll use the analytical function, which is dense rank. Okay. And this is the analytical function. And uh, now we're going to use here by employee salary. Okay, so it's a very easy scenario. So we can generate the highest third highest salary with this query. Okay, so you can see the first highest salary is 24,500, second is 17,000, and third is 14,000. But we don't want to use that uh, dense rank. Okay, so can you think of it without using the analytical function and uh, to generate the third highest salary just pause this video and uh, just think of it and write the query so guys now i'm gonna write two solutions without using the analytical function okay so the first one is let's write the query and uh, employ Okay, so now what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use subquery. Okay, so first we will find the maximum salary. All right, maximum salary. Okay, so because if we find the maximum salary, this is twenty four thousand five hundred. So what we want the third highest salary, but this is the first highest salary. So we want the uh, second highest salary or third highest salary okay because but we don't want this salary this is the highest salary so the third highest or second highest should be less than from the first highest okay so what we're gonna do here is let's create a subquery okay select max from employee okay so now what we're gonna do here is the salary should be less than the maximum salary all right and this is the employee salary all right so let's run this query from employee okay and by just throwing an error where oh where i forgot to mention the condition where employee salary less than this okay so now we have the second highest salary now i want third highest salary okay so let's create this result set into the sub query and select maximum salary employee salary from employee employee will employee salary less than this all right so let's run this so the third highest salary is 14,000 all right so as you can see the inner sub is execute first okay first it will find the highest salary then again it will go to the outside this okay it will check the highest salary is this and the output should be less than the highest salary okay so now we got the uh, second highest salary in this query and again the outer query will execute in the last and we will get the third highest salary okay which is less than this and this okay so this is the uh, one way which you can get the third highest salary okay so now we have another you know, logic so there are a number of uses a number of queries which you can get the third highest salary but now i'm going to show you the another way which you can get the third highest salary all right so just be with me so first we will find the distinct salaries okay select from employee okay distinct employee salary all right so here we have all the unique salaries okay and now what we're gonna do here is we'll create a CT as and select 
abstract from CD order by EMP salary DESC. All right. So what we want, we want the third highest. So we'll pick top three. Okay. All right. So we'll use a trick here. Okay. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use top three salaries. Okay. The first one, the second one, that is the third highest, and we are interested in this, and we want only this salary. Okay, but we can't use the analytical function. All right, so we'll create another CDE as all right. So now, stick from CDE two. All right. So what we're gonna do here is we'll use top one star and employee EMP order by EMP salary okay so now we want the the top one but the order would be the smaller to highest so the 14,000 salaries here okay so this is the logic we have so now I have two queries which you can use to get to get the third highest salary without using the analytical function. I know there are n number of queries and you guys are really smart. You can do that. Okay, so please share it with, with me your results and your queries how you get that. Okay, so thank you so much guys for your time. And if you learned uh, something, so please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. All right. Thank you so much.